there's a decent run to the turn in the Ogden Phipps. With so many close in ability, post and trip could make a difference. Karuma developed nicely at three, got back to her top in her first start at four, and paired up last time. This is a very healthy pattern, and she should run well again. The problem is she would need a new top to have a real shot against these, and while McGehee is strong first and second off a layoff, he is less so the next time. Cavorting has always been fast, and she took it to a new level last time with the best figure anyone in this race has ever run. It's noteworthy that she's bounced following every top of her life, and with McLaughlin not going that well recently, we have to think she'll do so now after the humongous effort. If she just goes back a couple of points, she's still in this, but when they're going to bounce, it's tough to tell how far. Coralina got good last spring and stayed that way, though she didn't get any better as the year went on. Her first start this year was a two-point new top, and it's true that she's never really bounced last year. But big efforts off a layoff often set horses back, and she would probably need a forward move to have a shot to win, and that isn't that likely. Forever Unbridled is another very strong four-year-old filly here, and they will help make this a deep division. This one has come along nicely with a sound pattern, but she's already developed five points in 12 months, and it's a lot more likely she'll run another zero than a new top. That puts in her group with several others at that level, including Karumba, who gets about a point in weight from the others. Sheer Drama got much better at age five and hadn't run poorly for over a year before her last, when she went bonkers while being saddled at Churchill. She'll probably run her usual good one this time, which puts her around the zero level with several others. Stop Charging Maria was somewhat overrated until last fall, when she exploded with a big new top in the Breeders' Cup. She came back off the layoff with the same big effort, but lost because she was wide, while Sheer Drama saved ground. Pletcher was smart enough to give her plenty of time to get over that one, so she comes into this fresh, as she was before the last two tops. We think there's a good chance Stop Charging Maria will run back to her last two, which would make her the one to beat here. Castellano should work out a trip with Stop Charging Maria, and she's the one to beat. We're going to wait to see how McLaughlin's horses are running before making a final decision on cavorting, who is her biggest threat. 